Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Swati. Today we will discuss about what is called a sty. Now, sty is medically termed a hordeolum that derives its etymology from a Latin word that means a barley grain. So, a sty is a small lump in the eyelid which resembles a barley grain and which is often painful. Now, before understanding why a sty occurs, let us understand the anatomy of the eyelid. Now, the eyelid has a lot of two to three rows of eyelashes in the lid margin. There are two sets of oil glands and one set of sweat glands. Now, one set of oil gland is present at the root of the eyelash it secretes oil which lubricates the hair follicle whereas another set of oil glands are there within the substance of the eyelids now these secrete oil which forms a component of our tear film now when there is an infection within these oil glands they are termed hordeolum so when the eyelash follicle is infected it's called hordeolum externum and when the oil gland within the lid substance is infected, it's called hordeolum internum. There are certain factors which trigger an infection in these oil glands. Systemically, whenever our blood sugars are not under control, that is diabetes, a disease called rosacea wherein we get a lot of acne all over the face along with red and irritable skin and another condition called seborrheic dermatitis where the skin is very oily and irritable. Now certain eye factors like maintaining good eye hy eyelid hygiene uh, when using contact lenses, frequent touching of the eyes because of allergies when we tend to rub our eyes and a disease called blepharitis wherein there is a lot of dandruff particles in our eyelashes and another condition called meibomian gland dysfunction when the consistency of the secretions of these oil glands is altered so they are unable to come out of the gland and they tend to stagnate within the gland. Other things like not removing the eye makeup completely, using contaminated eye makeup, all these are risk factors to develop a sty. Now, a sty is usually painful, begins as a kind of heaviness or a slight pain initially along the lid margins which in a day or two forms a proper boil which is often associated with discharge, redness, watering in the eye. Now the general course is about four to five days. In some it may progress and worsen to form something called preceptal cellulitis wherein the entire eyelid is swollen and it's a painful condition. Now, sometimes if left unattended, these may resolve partially and result in a formation of a non-painful hard lump within the lid which is called a calaison. How do we treat these styes? What you can do at home is give good amount of warm compresses. How do we give warm compresses? It can be dry heat or wet heat does not matter. That is, you can either iron your handkerchiefs or napkins and place it on the boil or some of us even uh, heat crystal salt and wrap it in a cloth and then keep uh, heat. Some of us dip a thick material cloth and hot water and squeeze it and keep over the swelling. What is important is the duration. A minimum duration of 5 minutes is what is recommended. Now what does this heat do? 
it melts the pus it uh, melts the thicken oil secretions and it opens the pore so that whatever is collected within it can come out of the eye freely now after doing this for about 48 hours if you see no improvement please visit an eye specialist based on the severity you will be given either an antibiotic ointment along with painkillers or sometimes a tablet form of antibiotics as well the general course of recovery is over a period of 1 to 2 weeks and what are the frequently asked questions many of us wonder if it is contagious no it's not contagious of course from one gland it the infection may spread to the surrounding glands as well but it does not spread from one person to another person so does it affect vision is another question that is asked no it does not affect the vision because it does not spread within the eye generally and the third common question is can i go to work of course as long as your pain is tolerable you your vision is fine you can work you can see the computer there are some things that you are not supposed to do never uh, try to open the swelling on your own never pop the boil never keep touching it frequently always maintain good hand hygiene always make sure that you're not using contact lenses or any eye makeup when the infection is present now how do we prevent these stains general hygiene measures are the most important ensure you maintain a good hand hygiene whenever you are using contact lens if you have allergies get them treated don't keep touching the eye if you are using cosmetics make sure the expiry date is checked the cosmetics have to be uh, replaced frequently make sure that you don't wear the eye makeup and go to bed always make sure it's neatly removed so these are the general preventive measures for any further queries you can visit us at shikarai hospital thanks for watching Thank you.